<laughs> Good morning guys. Today I'm on a track called Sylvan Lake. <laughs> I'm on a swing bridge. <laughs> so it's a little bit <laughs> wobbly. <laughs> yeah, we're going on a trackway round to the Sylvan Lake. Now this is up round Glenorchy Way. And uh, some of these locations around here, around in Glenorchy, were used for Lord of the Rings. So, uh, as you'll see by the title, today's video is taking my Nikon camera for a walk in Lord of the Rings country. So, here we go. So we just started on this trackway and already I've seen uh, something of interest that you'll get in all these forests here in New Zealand. Now I'm, I'm being careful not to walk on the moss here because I don't want to trample nature but but uh, this is what I mean like when you get, you get logs like this that are trees that have fallen over and uh, have just decayed this is quite a good example of um, oh was that as a branch <laughs> so um I shall put some photos up on screen and you can see what that looks like in photograph now find my way back to the track without stepping on all this beautiful moss it's a bit cool in here today but you can see how when they filmed Lord of the Rings in here in places like this, I don't know if they actually filmed it in here, but places like this, how you can see like Frodo and his friends, his companions, walking through the forest making their own trackway through places like this where it's not too dense uh, to return that ring to was it Mount Doom? I think, believe. But look at this, this all the moss, dead trees, stunning forest, stunning scenery in here. But we'll carry on up to the lake and see what else we can uh, find on our way through. Saying earlier about logs rotting and whatnot, here we have one that is well rotted and it's like it's rotting down to like sawdust so uh, like nature will just take over there'll be new trees growing out of that it's like a natural compost really but doesn't that look cool I put some photos up as we're walking through as a spot things I put some photographs up on on screen so you can have a look at what um, what we've uh, spotted here now check this out. Imagine that cut through a slice through the middle of that and made into a table. Imagine the grain in there. That would look awesome that in that big knot, wouldn't it? It'd look quite cool as a like coffee table, computer table. Something like that. We find a lot of this sort of stuff around in the forest here. And I can hear birds at times. And we've been through here a couple of days ago and took a lot of photos. So some of these photos that you'll see up on screen are from a couple of days ago when we were here in the afternoon. But uh, <laughs> I gotta admit, I did a video the other day when we come in here, but when we got back to the cabin and checked it over, it hadn't locked focus on me, so that's all gone. That's, I've wiped all that. <laughs> so we're going back in here to do it all over again. And uh, hopefully this time, this is all in focus. So some of the, like I say, some of the photos you'll see on screen are from a couple of days ago. 
and it was in different light in here too because like at the moment it's what quarter past ten and the other day when we come in here it was around about half past twelve half past twelve one o'clock so the light was all different in here so some parts some of these photographs I put on screen I can't um, find these points again in here now because the light's shining differently there's more scenery in here that you could you could just envision Frodo and co walking through the forest here as like I say it's quite open the forest is not very dense at all so you see how like I say they could film you know films like The Hobbit Lord of the Rings through here through parts like this because they make their own trackway through here it's beautiful scenery and um, the weather's quite calm here today in, the, in this trackway. It's, uh, it's a little windy out, out of the forest here. But we're going to go up to the lake and I'm going to do a panorama. Now the other thing that um, you might be interested in is <coughs> I've got a panorama head panoramic head for my tripod that I'm testing out. I've done one panorama out by the shores of Lake Wakatipu at Glenorchy, which uh, I'll put up on screen with this, all these little trees in front of the, the wharf here. And I'm going to put the Nikon Z6 onto this panorama head and do a panorama of the lake out here when we get to it. So. Uh, a little bit of a test on that as well. Now I found some plate fungi. I should show you. See there's some little ones down the bottom there. And some larger ones up there. And on the side of the tree in there. These are some of the oh there's a fantail. Um those, those plate fungi are some of the ones we've seen the other day, but <clears throat> I was going to say, with them um, being here a bit earlier today, the light's shining on them differently, and I can't find half the ones that we um, spotted two days ago. But anyway, like I say, I'll put them up on screen anyway, so you can see. Oh, light shining through here. Oh. Like catching me in the ice sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I oh, hear some more. As you can see, that my hand, how big that one is. But some of these other ones we spotted on some of the other trees were like three or four times that size. Now, just spotted. A fungi that we had seen the other day and it looks like either donuts or burger buns what do you reckon donuts or burger buns <laughs> same coloring as donuts could be a burger bun a mushroom burger <laughs> How about that? Mushroom burger or mushroom donut? I think I'm being mushroom burger, but I don't like mushrooms, so. <laughs> we found another one of those plate fungi that I love so much. 
and it's round there. Oh, just heard the tree creaking. <laughs> there it is there. And that gave you an idea how big this is. That's how large that is. Now look at the scenery out there. Doesn't that look awesome? All that nice moss. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. But we're not far from our destination now at the lake, lake edge. So carry on another five minutes or so and we'll be there at the lake, which I think I can see it now. So it'll be less than five minutes. Okay. And then we'll test that panorama head. Right, now that we're at the lake, we shall set up the tripod in this panorama head and test that out. It's a little bit breezy, but at least it's not raining like it was the other day when we were here. But we shall still get a panorama shot out over the lake and uh, test this panorama head that I brought. Now, I'm going to use this panorama head I've got here. It's the name Leo Photo. Now, now this comes in two parts. Now, the top part, take off for a minute. And this bottom part here is the, the leveling head. So, undo that and can move this bottom plate round you see now there's a little bubble level on top get right in the middle and then lock that put this part on here put that on tight now this has two extra adjustments on here you can see this part here See that there, when those two dots are lined up, it's level. And we've got the same on the other side here, an adjustment there. So you can fine tune this, this here. So we shall, and that, this here, controls the pano part of it. So put that on there. And of course, we line up the middle part where the lens is on the zero here. And then we can pan round. So, as we pan around the lake, it looks pretty level. So what I'll do is take probably about seven or eight shots all around the lake here and we'll stitch them together and uh, put them into panorama and I'll put them up on screen. So I'll put it on a two second timer. So I'll take the first shot and I will we'll put it onto manual focus. So I get the same focus all the way around. Two second timer. So we'll do. 
It's going to take two shots at each time. That's why I've got to sit up anyway. But that's two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So a seven shot panorama, always careful to overlap them by at least a third, if not more, so it gives the software lots to play with so you can fill in and um, create this panorama. So what I'm going to do also is to do a vertical panorama. This will require a lot more shots so we get a lot more of the rocks in the foreground as well as the sky as well so we gotta look where we're going so we don't get this railing in the frame so I need to now I'm gonna to have to level this again whoop right so we shall do the same thing So we'll have a look at that on screen as well, see how that come out. So that's Lake Sylvan. So now that we've got here, done our panos, we'll head back to the, along the track, back to the car park and probably have some lunch. That I believe is New Zealand Robin. Oh, gone now. Now that bird you just saw, I believe is a New Zealand robin or a South Island robin. They're very inquisitive. It's just down the track a little bit. But I've put some pictures up on screen of the, the robin I seen a couple of days ago, which come up within a couple of feet of us. And that one did as well. It was only about a foot away from my camera, which is sitting on the ground in front of me. Very inquisitive little creatures. So I think I might end this video right here. Now thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the footage in this um, trackway here and the short little review of that panorama head. Now please like and subscribe, comment down below. It all helps the channel, it all helps the channel grow. And uh, so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.